What's up people, it's Sam here and yes, in today's video, finally, Astral Radiant Booster Box. You saw me open the Triple Blister Packs in my last video. Usually in my first videos, I usually do a ETB and a Booster Box, well, or a Booster Box. But I started off with Triple Blisters, so, you know, changing it up a bit, but yes, I thought now it's finally time to open my first booster box without ripping it, even though I've just ripped it there a bit, but hey ho, of Astral Radiance, Palkia Origin Form looking mega majestic over there. And then, yes, let's just get straight into it, guys. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I open all of the new stuff or as much of the new stuff as I can get my hands on. And um, appreciate a like on the videos if you do enjoy them, guys. But yes, we're getting straight in to the first pack of this 36 pack opening. It wasn't first pack magic. Mind you, I do like these booster packs. Can we just take a second to just appreciate the booster packs? I like how they're like white at the top. Pretty, pretty cool. Actually looks, makes the whole booster box look pretty cool as well. But yeah, there is the code card for you beautiful people in terms of chase cards. What do we want? Uh, I'm going to say All Art Machamp, which just looks awesome. First of all, I'm super happy to have a Machamp in this set anyway, because I absolutely love Machamp as a Pokemon. But the All Art is really cool. The VMAX is really cool as well. I actually pulled the VMAX in Japanese. And it literally looks like Machamp is Super Saiyan. So, yeah, the standard VMAX card of a Machamp is, well, in my opinion, really, really cool. But yeah, the chase card, probably the old art Machamp. Um, and a couple of other old arts as well. Dialga old art looks really cool. Palkia old art looks very, very mind boggling. Um, Oh, we'll take that. Yes, I forgot about the Radiant. Radiant Heatran, a new addition to our collection. Look how awesome that card is. So we've now got Radiant Greninja and Radiant Heatran as well. So the Radiant cards are basically a new set of cards in the set. And it is the uh, shiny variant of the Pokemon. So on this set, you've got three of them. It'll be... Greninja Heatran, and the last one I believe is How Lucha, and I'm pretty sure we are going to be getting more Radiant cards in future sets as well. For example, the Pokemon Go set to release in July has ho ho, ho ho, double whammy. Look at that! I'm not really fussed about this one. I've already got this one. The Origin Form Pocket Vista. I, I know I've got this one because I remember putting it in my band yesterday. But this one is a new one. It is a trainer gallery, word here. One of the newer Pokemon um, from the Arceus game. Use as a mount and Stampler's Evolution. A trainer gallery there. The cut, not so good. I'm not really happy with the cuts lately on Astral Radiance because it's kind of like very rough on the sides as well. And the centering isn't all that. But I will definitely take this as a card. It's a bit bent as well for some reason, if you guys can see that. But yeah, the quality of the cards in terms of the print hasn't been amazing in my experience. Let me know what you guys think, what sort of quality you guys have been getting, but I will definitely take them both. Um, one for a swap, the other one, just a new addition to the collection. So, so far, we've got a Radiant, a V-Star, and a Trainer Gallery as well. And it's a very strong start, to be honest. It is a very, very strong start. We'll definitely take that. In terms of booster boxes, I'm, I have no idea what the hit rate is on this. <clears throat> um, I mean, usually you could probably expect, or you would expect at least like 10 hits in total from 36 packs, maybe. But I've seen booster boxes where the hits have been awful. Okay, there's another hit this time. Urungaru V, or Slack Off in cosplay, as I like to call him. <laughs> We don't have this, so a new addition to my collection. We'll definitely take that. Very nice for the binder. And do you know what? It's really awesome opening new sets straight off the bat because, you know, you, all the cards you, you need for your collection. You know what I mean? You need all those cards to fill your binder. So it's um, 
it's a pretty nice feeling that there's not many duplicates. I remember I was opening a lot of Vivid Voltages before um, when I was hunting for the Rainbow Pikachu. And it was just constant duplicates and got very repetitive. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't have to go down that path ever again where I'm opening 15 booster boxes just to try and get the card that I want. Reggie Drago is also there's a Reggie Eliki and Reggie Drago in this um, set. I thought it was only Reggie Drago, but there's also Reggie Eliki as well. So yeah, I didn't actually know that. So that's, that's a nice little surprise as well. A new Pokemon entering the fray. But yeah, um, what was I speaking about? I was talking about oh, every time I try to talk, I just get a pull. It's crazy, right? My Tiena, I'm pretty sure I pulled this in VMAX Climax, which was a Japanese variant of the set as well. But there is another trainer gallery card. Look how cool that card is. Well, my Tiena is super happy for some food. The trainer gallery cards are awesome. I think, I think Missy's Stami card is in this set. So it'd be really cool to pull that. Um, but yeah, I think at the moment my main chase cards are the alt arts that Machamp looks amazing and I would love to get my hands on that but yeah um what was I saying booster box hit rates yeah I've seen it where people have got like maybe three or four hits in a full booster box yes you heard that right three to four hits from a full booster box of 36 packs so yeah these can be like really really rough sometimes I suppose it just just depends on the look I guess um, but in terms of value per pack booster box is definitely the cheapest if you guys just want to open a lot of packs at once um, for as cheap as possible then yeah go for a booster box all day long okay wow I was about to scream but I thought no I'll just I'll just appreciate it wow Origin Form Dialga V Star. Look how awesome that card is. I'm not actually a fan of rainbows usually. I'm really not, but this rainbow just looks oh so majestic and it's kind of got like some texture at the back as well. So look how cool that looks. Wow. And the centering is uh, it's okay, I guess. I am happy that there's no rough edges on the sides so, up, but wow, another hit, a rainbow hit this time. The look continues. I will definitely take that. Wow, oh wow, we've got quite a few hits already. Um, so I'm sat here and I'm waiting for the hits to slow down because, yeah, it looks like all the early packs are giving me like crazy, crazy luck, and the later packs are just going to give me nothing. But I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Not really sure how many packs we have left. Usually, I take from one side only. But I've been taken from like both sides. I don't know why I've done that, guys. So I apologize for that. Anybody whose OCD is playing up right now that I'm dipping in both sides of a booster box rather than sticking to one side and then moving on the next side. I do apologize. I don't know why I've done that. I guess I just kind of got excited. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how many packs are left. I'm going to say maybe we're at the halfway mark now. I'm not really sure, but... So far, so good, right? I mean, so far we have got some really, really good pulls, quantity and quality as well. Absol Hollow there, very cool Absol Hollow actually. Um, but yeah, it, as I was saying, or as I've been trying to say before the pulls have been coming, is that, yeah, it just depends on the look. But yeah, pound for pound, you want to get a booster box if you just want to open as many packs as possible. Um, there's a Heatran V, another hit. That Heatran V looks so cool, by the way. Looks so cool. Especially with the whole volcanic lava feature it's got going on. Wow. Literally looks like from the Terminator. Um, but yeah. I always open at least one booster box whenever there's a new set out because it's just the cheapest way to get booster packs. Um... I have got an ETB as well. I mean, I wouldn't recommend the ETB to people unless you guys actually collect 
artworks of the ETB. There's a Stami V there. I don't really want that one. I've got this one. I do remember putting this one in my binder yesterday as well. But yeah, so because it's not a holiday set, the ETB literally just comes with um, eight booster packs, no promo card. Um, usually the holiday sets come with 10 booster packs in a promo card. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend you to get an ETB. Um, the only reason I do it is purely to have the ETB as part of my collection as I like collecting them um, and having like the different artworks as empty boxes but if you guys don't like doing that then don't do it because I mean an ETB in terms of like the price of it um, and the packs that you get from it it's probably not worth it um, and the other thing is the triple blisters which I did open oh issuing Decidueye V-Star I think I've got this one as well actually so hits I'm starting to get duplicates now. Don't know why, but I'll still take a V-Star. It's still a pretty decent booster box considering I've still got a fair amount of packs to open. And all art would be nice. Um, I mean, I know I've just got a secret rare Rainbow Dialga, but an all art, an all art would be really nice. But yeah, um, the triple blisters do have good hit rates apparently. I'm, I'm used to getting good hit rates from triple blisters, um, especially like first waves rather than reprints um and i've had that sort of look since evolving skies i think um but you are paying a bit extra for a triple blister because it comes with a promo and a coin um so you're not exactly paying well getting the booster packs for like any sort of discounted price but i don't know for some for me for some reason triple blisters just they just contain pulls man um but Maybe it's just my own superstition, um, or whatever works for me, or... Yeah, just let me let me know in the comments what works for you guys, because apparently I get good pulls. I mean, in my comments, people tell me that, you know, I always get good pulls, but I don't think I do. Um, so it'd be nice to know what sort of pulls you guys get, um, and what sort of products you guys are opening for those pulls as well. Because for me, when a new set's released, it's literally booster box, ETB, um, triple blisters and then any single check lane blisters. I don't open single check lane blisters much though. That is, oh, another pull. And this time it is a full art Milo looking also awesome and very happy. Wow, it's a very cool card actually. I do like that card. I didn't even know Milo was in this. I actually completely forgot Milo was in this. Milo hasn't been in a set since Rebel Clash, that's, yeah, should have put, bought Milo back, I guess, but yeah, um, yeah, last time I saw Milo in a set was in Rebel Clash, so I wonder if Milo has a rainbow rare variant in this as well, because I was under the assumption, or I thought, that all of the trainers in this set were the trainers from the Arceus games, but Milo seems to be there, unless Milo, Milo was in the Arceus game, I can't remember him being in the Arceus game. I'll take Milo anyway, I like Milo as a trainer. He's a pretty cool trainer, very, a very jolly trainer, I would say. Milo, and then Piers, who's just like the complete opposite, and he's just like super gloomy. Okay, so we have got quite a few hits. Oh, I will take it, I will take it. All three Radiant cards have now officially been added to my collection. Radiant Howlucha is the final Radiant card from this set of Heatran and Greninja. And look how cool that looks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I will definitely take this. So I've got all three Radiant cards now. Super happy with that. They are the new cards added to the set. Um, it's basically a, a shiny Pokemon or a Pokemon with a shiny variant and like um, some different hollow foil variant effect. And so it's a bit like the amazing rares that were debuted in um, Vivid Voltage. So it's kind of a big deal. Oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? Hits after hits after hits. This time we've got Gardenia's Vigor, another full art trainer. And wow, what an amazing card that is as well. Awesome, awesome artwork indeed the look continues we've got like maybe seven or eight packs left but in terms of hits this is probably like my strongest booster box ever 
in terms of quantity of hits. Not Maybe not quality, but the quantity of hits is just like super, super crazy right now. Um, I wasn't even expecting much from this booster box as well, because I never do expect much from a booster box um, in terms of like the amount of hits. But I guess it's all random. This one I've, I've definitely looked out with. I've, I've managed to add a bulk of the set to my collection, which is really, really nice. Magna Zone looking very, very angry there. It's a nice hollow that actually. Okay, maybe five to six packs remaining. A very strong, strong booster box opening so far. I might have to get another one. To be fair, I do quite get I do get multiple booster boxes sometimes because it is very hard to actually complete a set just from one booster box um, and a couple of products. I mean, these sets are just so huge right now that getting an actual or actually pulling all of the cards in a set and completing that set is, is very, very difficult. You will have to invest some serious money just to be able to do that. So it's probably best to like um, rely on trades, maybe purchase single cards that you like. It's a Hisuian Decidueye V, another hit. I'm not really fussed about this one because I'm pretty sure... Actually, I don't think I've got this one. I've got it in Japanese, I don't have it in English. So I take that back, that is a nice hit because I need it for my collection. But yes, um, if you want to like purchase your favorite cards, um, or maybe just have a, like a full art collection, so get all the full arts. It's very difficult to do just via pulls. Um, the most financially wise option to do would be to maybe purchase them separately from eBay um, and get them that way because it is, it is very, very difficult to actually pull everything. I mean, you need some crazy luck for that. And even if you do manage to pull everything, I guarantee you will have spent a, a truck load of money in order to do that. Oh, it's a duplicate. Oh, oh it's a duplicate. I'll take it. I'll take it. I really will take it. It is a very, very, very cool trainer gallery. I pulled this in my f um, pre-release kit opening. Um, I'll take it again because it is a really, really nice card. I mean, look how cool that card is, but it's not nice when you get a trainer gallery duplicate, is it? Because it's just like, you know, that could have gone to some other card. Um, well, that card is really nice. The texture on that Calyrex trainer gallery card is, is really super nice. Um, I'm probably end up trading that for something. Um, I just can't justify having two of them. Especially knowing that that slot, that pull could have been something else, like another trainer gallery. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame that I got two of them. I'm used to getting duplicates of like normal V cards, not duplicates of trainer galleries or uh, I don't know, alt arts. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll probably, at least I've got some good trading power um, to get rid of that. Toby Kiss. Holo and the final pack of the opening, guys, before we move on to going through the pulls. Can it be last pack magic? I won't complain if it's not, if I'm honest, because I mean, it's been a very strong opening. Um, I've done the card trick wrong as well. Super, super wrong. But it's fine, we'll take it. Okay, so, who's the box? Done. How many cards have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, 14 hits. That is insane. Ice Rider Calyrex V Trainer Gallery. Already got it. Decidueye V Full Art Gardenia's Vigor. Radiant Howlucha. Wow, Full Art Milo. V Star Decidueye. Stami V Heatran V. Secret Rare Origin Form Dialga V Star. Trainer Gallery Mayena. Slack Off in Cosplay. Trainer Gallery Wordia. Origin Form, Palkia Vista, and a Radiant Heatran as well. So very, very, very strong pulls indeed. I'm going to do my best to do like a little fan out thing, but I always fail at this. But yeah, there are kind of the pulls, guys. But yeah, that is it. That is the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, leave a like on the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on my future videos. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.